Good morning from New York City. What I was thinking about this morning is what happens when you put yourself out there, when you raise your hand to do something. And here's why I was thinking about it. I was chatting with my friend Emily the other day, and she told me she had been to Kripalu, a retreat center outside of New York City. She went to do a weekend with Liz Gilbert and Dr. Terrorai Trent. And we were texting, and I told her how Liz Gilbert's book, Big Magic, some line I read in that book about living a life of curiosity really made an impression on me at the time. Anyway, and in our exchange, I said to her, you know, I was on book tour with Dr. Trent. If you've never heard of her, she was Oprah's favorite guest of all time. She's a woman from Zimbabwe. She's this amazingly dynamic speaker with an incredible personal story. My friend Emily was like, wait, what? You were on book tour with her. How did that happen? I thought, hmm, how did that happen? To be honest, I can't fully recall, but I do remember somehow hearing that she was going on book tour and that her husband couldn't join her. I can't remember how it came about. I remember I somehow offered to accompany her and I was shocked when she said yes. It was really cool because it was at a time in my life when I was really longing to do something new. And this woman who I barely knew said, yes, come with me. I'll never forget. I went to the Lower East Side. She was being interviewed by Cleo Wade, and she didn't recognize me. And we were leaving within a day or two to go on tour. We went to, I remember, and I remember we kicked off in Washington, D.C., and we shared a hotel room and we shared a bed, and I didn't even know her. And it turned out to be this incredibly fun experience. And of course, my friend Emily was completely wowed because. She's an incredibly inspirational person, and Emily had just come off this workshop with Dr. Trent. But it got me thinking. I'm like, where did I come up with that idea? And it made me think of my brother, Randall. Randall is a master Montessori teacher, and back in the day, I guess he must have been studying Montessori, he accompanied Madame Kaspari, who was Bria Montessori's last living pupil at the time. And I remember going to visit him, I think, somewhere in the Carolinas. He was on tour with her, and I remember observing my brother being in service to this person and accompanying her. And I remember sitting in the audience and feeling so proud of him. It really did make a lasting impression on me. And it was cool. All those years later, there I was kind of doing something similar. Anyways, I was mulling this over yesterday. Something else popped into my mind. A woman I met on Martha's Vineyard a couple of years ago. After our writing retreat, we met up for dinner one night. We were talking about moving someplace kind of later in life. And she had moved to Martha's Vineyard. And we were talking about that. I was asking her about it. And we got onto that subject because she was getting ready to move again to New Mexico. And I was peppering our conversation with like what she did, how she behaved, how she integrated herself. She told me that as soon as she got settled, she volunteered to do the night shift, either at a drug clinic or at a homeless center. And she said, yeah, I took the shift that nobody wanted. And everyone wanted to know who I was. And that's how I started to create relationships and build my community. She went on to tell me a lot of stories about how that triggered so many other opportunities for her. I wanted to share this because sometimes when we're uninspired or stuck or even in a dark place, one of the best things we can do for ourselves is to put ourselves out there and simply raise our hand. It can definitely feel slightly uncomfortable but it can completely shift things in your life. I know speaking for myself, after I went on that book tour with Dr. Trent, it triggered in me so many ideas. It shifted everything. And I found so many other interesting opportunities. I'd end by saying, doing something like this doesn't necessarily have to be that you're going to a drug clinic or a homeless center. It can simply be extending a hand to a friend, as simple as offering to help someone. I'll leave you with that for today. Until next time, from my heart to yours.